Ricky Ashworth settling into White Gate 3 for Heat 5. His inclusion in Berwick's lineup pushed Sebastian Olden down to second place. I'm sure most of Berwick's midwinter team planning involved Olden, the track record holder at Shieldfield, being the number one on the 8.04 average, but Ricky fitting in, and there was room for him to do so in the Berwick side at 8.39. Berwick with an injury hit winter after smashes to both Coser Smith and it would have been a newcomer at reserve Brenton Barnfield. Off they go in heat five. Lovely start there from David Balego on the inside, the Berwick number two. But the Frenchman's now has got company from both the Scunthorpe riders. And on the inside in red, it's Josh Orty, then Michael Palmtoft as they come round to the end of lap one. So Berwick thought they had a chance there with Balego. Ricky Ashworth held up a little bit here behind the Frenchman and that is letting the front two get a little bit further clear Orty in red, palm topped in blue just under two laps to go and now Ashworth is through on the inside of Balego and seeing what he can do about Michael palm top and Ashworth sticking to the inside here has got past the Dane as well so into the final lap of heat five and now Ricky Ashworth thinking about Josh Orty Sheffield teammates last season, Berwick and Scunthorpe rivals this time, and the Berwick rider has got the inside line on the last two bends. Incredible stuff from Ricky Ashworth, who's going to steal it. Ashworth has beat Naughty, having been last with less than two laps to go. Incredible stuff from Ricky Ashworth. Well, arguably there, we could have showed you the whole of the last two laps in slow motion. He was definitely last at the end of lap two, still picking off his teammate Vallejo. Then he squeezed through inside Michael Palmtoff, and his extra speed on the final lap carried him through on the inside of Josh Orty as well. <laughs> it's only March the 23rd, that will take some beating though.